Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today's episode, here's what I'm doing, and I'm kind of already got started on everything, is I started to fix my grill. Not fix it, but just paint it to make it look a little bit better. So let me explain kind of what I did because I didn't film it. I, yeah, you guys know whoever make these videos that sometimes it's just easier to do stuff and then talk about it opposed to filming it. But literally I put some paint stripper on here, that aircraft stripper, got all the old paint off of this, got it down to bare plastic. Then I used some Bulldog um, adhesion promoter. And now what you see is a self etching primer on here. Um, on both of these parts here. Um, I took this off because I was getting my windshield installed. So here we go. This is my windshield. I got it installed. I didn't do it. Um, the guy was doing it. I asked if I could record him and he said, eh, he'd rather not. He didn't want to be put online. Um, he said that I could do a shout out for his company. But yeah, anyway, but got the windshield on. That's pretty awesome. And I got the rear glass in as well, or he got it in. I did help him. He was going to do it by himself, and I was like, no, nah, no, nah, let me help you. And it's a good thing I was here to help him because it would have been a pain, especially this rear one. Um, but it's looking good. So here we go. All the trim's on. It's nice and flush. It's level. Um, he could have used butyl tape. Instead, he used the, um, the glue stuff. He put the primer down and then glued it in. I don't know what the name of it is, but that's what he did. And then he also did the front as well. So I think it looked pretty good. Um, we got the tape on there because these trim pieces, yeah, I think they were Dynacorn. However, I'm not bashing the company. I'm bashing the product. <laughs> these uh, trim pieces from Dynacorn, for me personally, they're kind of junk. Um, the clips that clip it in, they were actually bending the lip that the clips clip onto and hold it in. So unfortunately, um, he had to glue it in a couple spots because, yeah, he was just, they were starting to get deformed and he needed to just glue them on to keep them flush to the window. Anyway, so a little progress update as well. Um, we're still waiting on two more of these clips here to put in. Um, they're on back order story of just about every second gen camaro builder's life everything's on back order so i'm just waiting for those to come in um actually somebody on my forums said that they had a pair and they sent me two of them which was super nice of him and then the door panels those are ordered they're on back order as well and then i got the package tray cover um and the sound deadening pad so those are on order as well. They should be in hopefully soon. And then, yeah, I need to start thinking about the radio and getting the sound in here as well. So yeah, that's just kind of where we're at on this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and continue on this, uh, this right here on these. Man, I'm trying to blank. It's been a long day, maybe too many paint fumes. But anyway, yeah, get this grill painted and then get this little piece. I forgot what it's called, but I got to get that painted as well. Um, I'm not going to record that, but I will be back once they are dry. Alrighty, so that grill is finally painted and good to go. And I have it installed. It's looking good. It's just held on by six screws, two there, two in the middle, and two on the other side. So that is what she's looking like. Pretty excited. And the next thing I want to move on to is, it's actually the next, it's a couple days later, is this package tray. So it's what I did is I removed this rear seat here and got this all ready. That is the package tray padding. So what I'm gonna, is what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set you all up out here and then hopefully record. Hopefully this glare isn't too bad and we can get a good view of what's going on. Okay, well, things kind of took a turn here. Um, I was gonna do the package tray next. However, I decided to put a radio in. So is what I did is I was gonna go with a um, one of those classic radios for this car. However, it wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for something a little bit different, a little bit more modern and um, up to date. So is what I ended up going with is um, a touchscreen radio and Give me a sec here. Let me see if I get my light on. Okay, so if you look in here, I actually had to mount the radio down here. 
Um, the reason I had to mount it down here is because the touchscreen that I was going for was a little bit too big for that. So I have it all installed and I actually just checked it and made sure it worked. I just got to put this little bezel on here. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So let me clip this on. There we go. I guess it doesn't really matter. But here is the radio. Ah, give me just a moment here. Hey, I'm back. Um, so it's what it is, I decided to go with is a this touch screen, which it slides in like so. And then it looks like that. And this one is actually really cool because it, it'll adjust up and down, slide it up or down. And then it also pivots left and right and you could go up and down. So I ended up going with this here. And the main reason is because this particular radio that I got here has the, um, the Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay. So I hooked it all up and it's got a lot of cool features um i can, you can go in here you can set like your power off delays sorry bouncing around but also um like the display it's got some cool things that you can do it's got like animations so you could change like the light colors to have it match i'll probably keep it blue so it because it'll match these up here and then if you watch I don't know if you can really tell, but it dims down and goes brighter. So and you can turn like the brightness down. So when you have your night lights on, it just changes the colors. And then the daytime brightness, you could turn it up. But yeah, this is pretty sweet. It's um it's a boss. Um let me get the uh I'll show you what type it is here in just a sec. Here we go. It's this one right here. It's the boss. Um Audio System Elite. I got the BE9ACP. Um, it's got a lot of cool features. Um, I did a lot of research and reviews, and this was actually one of the better ones, believe it or not. Um, a lot of people were saying that this was better than the like the Pioneers or the Alpines. I don't know that Boss, their amplifiers are junk, they're garbage. I've had several like in my younger years and they've always blown up. However, um, this does come with a warranty and everything, so that's pretty good. And um, yeah, it's just, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty slick how it works. So this is uh, kind of what I was doing, and what I have been doing, and here we go. That's what she's looking like. And then, like I said, it is full touch screen. Let me zoom out. Yeah, it's full touch screen. And then, you know, it's got the knobs and you change the buttons and stuff. And I could do a review video for those of you interested. Um, however, I'm not sure. Just let me know in the comments if you want a review on this and i can just kind of go through all the features and stuff there's a few quite a few videos online um so yeah i haven't hooked up the apple carplay yet because i record with my cell phone which is an apple so i don't think if i plug it in let me plug it in right now and see what happens i think it'll probably stop recording um so when i plugged it in it actually i don't know i think it stopped recording but this is kind of what she's looking like so it's really cool because you have all the, you know, all the Apple features and stuff. And you can go here and you can go to your music and your news and get everything that's on here. Um, you can use Waze or whatever. And then, you know, you get your meetings and stuff. Um, when you're in park, you can watch videos. Um, you do the hands-free calling. And this is cool because it keeps track of the time. And then it tells you, like, you know, your phone, your signal, and if you're connected to Wi-Fi. And just a bunch of cool stuff, so... Um, I don't have the speakers in yet, uh, just waiting for, yeah, I gotta do some research on some good speakers and order some, but this is kind of where I'm at and what it's looking like. It's pretty sweet. I can't complain. I can go into settings and look at all this stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. I really like it. The touchscreen's super responsive. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll stop doing a review on this. However, um, I do really like this. So it's what I'm gonna do. This covers up that hole pretty good. But it's, what I'm actually gonna do with this is I'm gonna be putting a um, back here. Let me turn on my light again. Okay, so I got my light on. So back behind this here, which is kinda, I'm just trying to remove this here with one hand. 
Um, there's two buttons, and this whole face plate comes off. Um, you just gotta snap it off. Give me a sec here. Okay, so like I was saying, this whole face plate comes off, so that's all you'll see. So when I'm not in the car, I'll be taking that off. But I'll put a little plate in here, and is what I think I'm gonna do with that is, um, with this, you have to unfortunately use the Apple Auto through USB and not the Bluetooth, which is unfortunate. But it's got two USBs on here. One is for the charging, and then one is for um, my phone and connecting to the CarPlay. So I think once I make that little bezel there, is what I'll do is I'll just put a couple USB ports in behind it and then just have some USB connections. So this will be all nice and clean and you won't really see much in there. So, but yeah, this is, uh, this is what I have been doing. Um, and now I will move on to the package tray and everything. Alrighty, so a couple more days have passed here and I actually got these um, little clips in finally for the door trim here. So let me zoom in here and I'll show you how I put them on. You gotta be very careful with these. Um, but the way that you put them on is you're gonna put them on like this and then is what I have been doing and just being super extremely careful as you put them on and then I'll take a screwdriver and then I'll just push it into the back of it to slide it forward like that. And then um, that's how I put them on. Some of them are super tough, some of them aren't as tough. Let me turn you here and then I'll do this one as well. Um, there's, there's, you want to put these on so the concave part goes up and around the lip of the door here. Let's go like right there. And you know what? Those are used. Um, they slid in just fine. I could do it with my finger. However, these newer ones right here, take you out the tripod. So these newer ones here, they're super tight. I had to use a screwdriver and a lot of force to get them on but I had to be super careful not to scratch the paint when I did that. So um, those are good to go. Let me get the uh, chrome piece and I'll show you how I put it on. Okay, so I have this chrome piece here. It might be kind of hard to see, but you're just gonna put it in place to about where you want it. Um, I want it to line up with the end of the fender here. And then also down here, I want it on the end. So what you do is you're gonna kind of tilt it up and get the top kind of latched in a little bit and then once it's latched in you'll just push it down and snap it in i got the middle in right now now I'll just come up to this side and just work my way around, snapping the rest of this in, being careful not to damage it. You're just gonna keep working it until you get it in. It's kind of hard and I'm just gonna be in the way, but just keep working it and then it's gonna snap on the top and then slide down in. Alrighty, so I finally got the chrome on. It is a kind of a pain to get on, I'm not gonna lie. So 
Now, I'm just gonna peel off this protective film that's on here, which is the satisfying part. We go so that is what she's looking like um it's on it's looking good can't complain um this right here is a little bit higher because i don't know if it's just it's molded wrong or something i can't get it to snap all the way down in i'm gonna have to keep playing with it it is snapped on i just i can't get it all the way and you know what looking back here well, it's kind of hard to see. I got to bend the chrome out just a hair because it's not wanting to wrap around the fender here. So let me work with that a little bit more. All right, there we go. I got it in, got it good to go. It's looking nice, looking shiny, just the way I like it. Oops, kind of high. There we go. She's in and good to go. So um, it's actually, it was a few days, like I was saying a few days later, so. I ended up getting my speakers in. So I got my um, my rear speakers here. These are my six by nines. These are, um, this box is open. Let me flip it around. These are Infinity, the Harman Infinity, um, the Kappa. So I got these and I will be putting these in. But first I wanna kinda start working back here and get this all set up and ready to go. But before I do that, I got to get the speakers ready and test fit and then make sure that they're going to fit before I go do a bunch of um, a bunch of stuff here. So let me kind of test fit the speakers in and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I have it all hooked up temporarily right now. The reason it's not uh, fully hidden and hooked up is because I ordered an amplifier for the um, radio and everything. So that should be coming in. So let me just turn this on and see what she sounds like. Um, I just got these hooked up to the deck for right now. But after I get the amp, it'll be hooked up to that. So let me see. Um, let's see if I get any volume. And even a there we go. Time. Seems to be working. Yeah. That's pretty exciting. There we go. I just don't want to get a copyright claim on me, but yeah, it seems to be working well. So um yeah there we go well that's actually going to be a wrap for today's video um 
it was getting to be really long after I started editing it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. So the next video I will probably be filming will be um, selling the uh, amplifiers or the amplifier. I got a five channel amplifier on the way to power the rear speakers, front speakers, and then it'll have that fifth channel. So if I want a subwoofer, I can um, get that in as well. So, but um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And then um, I will check you all next time. Peace.